Bye. Uh, we're going to stick with Laura Turner for just a moment and turn our attention away from the tournament here. And uh, of course, uh, news has come to light over the last few days. A very good friend and colleague of ours, uh, Rod Studd, has suffered a stroke. And from everybody involved at the uh, Remote Darts League, we just wanted to pass on our very best wishes indeed to Rod. Lots of positive thoughts uh, going your way. And Laura stayed with us. If we could just catch a word from you, Laura, you know Rod very well, of course, a colleague of yours. You've been recently involved with uh, Sky Sports. So tell us a bit about Rod, and I'm sure you're going to want to send your own personal message. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've uh, in terms of... Most of the people that are involved with Sky Sports, I mean, my time's there. It's obviously not been as long as most of them, but I have to say, I mean, the whole, the commentators, the team, everything, they, they all take you under your under their wing and look after you like like you wouldn't believe. Uh, and Rob was just one of those exceptional, you know, Rod is one of those exceptional people that just uh, has, you know, talked to me, you know, got me through sticky patches and tell me what to do what not to do etc and um yeah the, the the news that we obviously had this week uh you know that he's he's not well he's had a stroke it's just you know it's, it's hit everyone really really hard um you know with every fiber of my being you know I, I wish him all the you know the best for a speedy recovery because he's he's one of the best people I've ever worked with um and yeah you know it's it's quite emotional for all of us and um yeah i i just wish him his family and everyone all the all the love and uh, you know I, I hope he gets well soon yeah i think you speak for us all i mean he's a man absolutely at the top of his game for me as far as modern darts is concerned he really has become the voice of darts you know all of the greatest moments in the sport he's the voice that we hear on Sky Sports calling them home, but away from the commentary box as well. He's, he's razor sharp wit and, and <laughs> such an intelligent man. And, and I think we all have that faith in us regarding what's done. He's got such a strong mind that he, he will pull through this. But uh, as Laura said, um, everybody's sending their very warmest wishes uh, to Rod Studd and his family at this time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like you say, uh, I mean, I tried to engage in a, you know, non-dark conversation with him, even brushing the political side. And yeah, no, he's just the sharpest wit you can ever, ever come across. So if anyone's going to, you know, you know, smash this glass ceiling, as he would like to say, he, he's going to do it. So, you know, I, I, I've just I've been privileged to, you know, to work with him and I can't wait to do it again. I just, you know, have every faith in everyone in the world that, you know, he's going to get better soon. Yep, so to Rod Stard and his family, on behalf of everybody at the Remote Darts League, uh, stay strong and get well soon. Yeah, absolutely.